In early August, Mercury and the Sun pass Jupiter. God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth. Venus joins Jupiter, the star the wise men had seen in the east. So Joseph went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David. The first three signs gain major importance for the wise men after Jupiter reverses course. There came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east. The wise men confirm this as the sign they have been waiting for. Then Herod called the wise men secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. As Jupiter passes Regulus for a third time, the wise men are en route to Judah. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. As they near Jerusalem, they realize that another conjunction between Jupiter and Venus is possible. An angel appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. Venus and Jupiter form the most significant conjunction and brightest star ever recorded. They went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. And on 26 August, Herod, having been mocked by the wise men, issued the decree to slay the children of Bethlehem. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, incense, and myrrh. God's nativity story ends as Jupiter enters Virgo for a one-year visit. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that is for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. Herod has just died. And at Herod's death, as prophesied by Jacob, the scepter departed Judah. rather there. So I'm going to move this forward. No, there it is. I'm going to move this forward September 2016. October. Now let me just center this for you. Here again is Jupiter and there is that comet that I've been talking about. Now I'm going to center this just a little more and I'll keep going until roughly mid-November of last year. Keep going. Now notice where the comet is going within Virgo. Okay? There's Jupiter. There's a comet. The legs of Virgo, the arm, the head. Moving forward. I'll get to roughly about mid-November. And look at this. This thing enters between Virgo's legs and Jupiter immediately enters as well, right there. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, 
in the days of Herod the king, Behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them back to Bethlehem, and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeareth to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night, and departed into Egypt. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wroth, and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem, and in all the coasts thereof, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. The star of Bethlehem, which appeared in the sky, and guided the wise men to the child Jesus, and stood over him, was a sign from God to man, that an event was taking place. The star appeared at the birth of Jesus, but by the time the wise men followed the star to Jesus, he was a young child around the age of two. The wise men, were believing Gentiles, who came from far away, to worship, the newborn king of the Jews. When they entered Jerusalem, they were summoned by King Herod, and quizzed on when this new birth had occurred. They surmised around two years ago.